G'day knuckleheads, Uncle Knackers here and welcome to episode 25 of my Own to Builder series. Now as you can see, we're putting down some timber battens in preparation to install the roof. Hey Steve, is that a sideways moonwalk? Very impressive mate. And the reason for the timber battens is that the metal ones tend to rust being this close to the beach. Now the first job you need to do before installing the roof is to put up your fascia and gutter which is what Greg is doing here. He's putting on his brackets, and then for some reason he's asked me to have a bit of a look to see if it's all straight. Greg, I don't know if you realize, but I wear glasses and I'm as blind as a bat, so I'm probably not the best bloke to ask. Once all the brackets have been screwed on, just get some fascia and you'll run it through those brackets to make sure that they've all lined up which is what Greg and Tice are doing here. And the boys have picked the perfect day to start the roof. The sun's out, there's zero wind, and absolutely no rain on the horizon. So everything is looking spot on. And just remember that before you screw your roof sheets off, that you've installed some roofing blanket underneath it. On this job, we're using Bradford's Anticon 60 thermal blanket. This is pretty exciting with the first few sheets going up. It's looking good. And these sheet metal shears make cutting the iron a thousand times easier than using your trusty old tin snips. How's this for an easy way to mark your roofing sheets? Jimmy marks the long point, then the short point, and then with the aid of one of these big bevels, transfers that line onto the material. And then it's just simply a matter of cutting the sheet. Too easy. And this is the tool that the boys are using to cut that roofing iron with. They're metal cutting shears, and seriously, they cut through metal like a hot knife through butter. And once you get your hands on a tool like this, you'll never look back. Our property is next to a laneway, which was fantastic, as it made getting those big sheets down the side of the house and to the back of the house a lot easier. And you may have noticed that the wind's picked up, which is never a good thing when laying a roof. The roofing boys are currently up on the roof, just finishing that job off. So that now gives me an opportunity to start pulling down this old ceiling. Whenever I pull down an old ceiling, like this old horsehair type, I like to do mine in easily manageable chunks. And I do that by cutting it with a handsaw. That way one person can handle it, and it also fits into a skip bin nice and snug, so you can get more in. Good tip. And as I finish off tearing down that old ceiling, the boys are finishing off the roof. Just a few more sheets to go, and then the capping, and we're all done. And this is the end result. Happy days.
the roof now on, I couldn't be any happier. And it went up without a hitch. And the good news is that now we're protected from the weather. Good stuff. Now, I've got to give a big thank you and a shout out to Greg Kelty from k &R Roofing. Greg and his boys, Steve and Tice, did a fantastic job and without any complaints. Thanks a lot, fellas. And I'll leave a link to Greg's details in the description box below. So make sure you check those guys out. Alrighty, as per usual, big thumbs up is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Well, I hope you can stick around for the next episode because there's lots to come. So till then, I'm out of here. Cheers. Oi, did someone say time for a cup of tea? Yes, thanks. I'd love one. Cheers.